hapa tupate kuwafariji tuwape moyo tutie moyo sababu maisha lazima iendelee Yesu ikiwa pamoja nasi kwa nafasi hiyo basi nataka nilete kwetu STA kwaya ili apate kutuongoza na kutubariki na kututia moyo karibuni sana karibuni sana karibuni sana
Tuwapongeze hao wanakwaya wa SDA kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwamba leo anatukumbusha kwamba tunashukuru Mungu kwamba alitoa Kristo Yesu awe ndiye msaada wetu katika jina la Yesu na lete kwetu pia praise and worship kwa wimbo wa worship wa kikalenjin kwa jina la Yesu karibuni sana
Mungu huo unasema kwamba Bwana kapa moja nami na tunashukuru sana kwa huo wimbo katika china la Yesu Kristo bado tunaendelea na wimbo nyingine The God of the mountain is still the God of the valley Jehovah ni bado tulono kwa Jehovah ni mungu wa techo kutembe tutavra Jehovah ni babe tusiek cha mnyache kwa Jehovah ni babe tusiek cha yache Yes, darling. 
sana asante ni sana na peana nafasi hiyo kwa kwaya wa county assembly mcs kindly karibuni eh? kericho kericho county mcs karibuni sana all the leaders all the leaders karibuni sana karibuni sana tuwapongeze wanapofika hapa mbele wamtukuse Mungu tuwapongeze tuwapongeze katika chini la kanisa kanisa tupongeze tupongeze haleluya 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 viongozi wote karibuni sana kaunti wa Kericho kwamba mpate kutoa nyimbo ya kumtukusa Mungu na Bwana apate kutubariki sisi sote katika china la Yesu Kristo. Karibuni sana, karibuni sana. Shukuru Mungu sababu ya viongozi wetu kutoka kaunti yetu ya Kericho Bwana awabariki kwa nyimbo nzuri katika china la Yesu 
Kando yangu ni mtafsiri kwa luka ya science. So tuna, tuna shukuru sana akiwa pamoja nasi kila mtu atafikiwa kwa utukufu wa china la Mungu. Nataka basi nikabidi Reverend Joyce atubereke uh, katika kiwango kingine na mimi tutabarikiwa kwa china la Yesu. Karibu sana Reverend Joyce, tuongoze mali mesalia. Excellency, our Deputy President, Excellency Speakers, I don't know if your Excellencies, uh, but, but today you can join the Excellencies Governor, our Governor and the Governors present, our uh, CSs, our Senators, our uh, members of National Assembly, uh, my sister, our Women Rep, our MCAs, our Deputy Governors, Buana Sifiwe. Uh, mine is a brief one. Uh, my name is Reverend Joyce Tonui. I am the Vice Chair of the Bishops and Pastors Fellowship of Kericho, and we are delighted to have you. I'm speaking on behalf of our Chair, who has, uh, is traveling out of the country, and he's not here today. I would like to begin by asking uh, the leadership of the Kericho Bishops and Pastors Fellowship Executive to just stand and wave to this congregation. Thank you very much. Let me ask Kipkelion East uh, Fellowship uh, to please also stand the officials and uh, wave to this congregation. And let me ask all the clergy that are here today, we are honored to have you, please stand and wave uh, to the congregation today. Thank you very much. Uh, let me read just one scripture as an encouragement. And then I will invite the speaker for today. The Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 3 and verse 7 says, The Lord said, I have seen the misery of my people. I have heard their cry. And because of uh, this, I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them. Watu wa Londiani tumekuja kusimama na nyinyi siku ya leo na kericho county mzima. Tukiwambia kwamba mungu amesikia kilio chenu. And not only as he had, ameona machozi yenyu. Na kwa sababu ameona, he is concerned. Na amekuja ili kwa okoa kwa rehemu. Tunajua kwamba tumepitia magumu. We are all mourning. Lakini tungependa kuambia kwamba mungu yunanyi na atasimama nanyi. He has seen, he has heard. He's concerned and he has come to rescue. Allow me to introduce the speaker for today. Uh, Reverend Patrick Chiruyot is our organizing secretary of the Kericho uh, Pastors and Bishop Fellowship. And he is a pastor with Joyland uh, Church. And this morning, he is the one that is bringing the word to us. Let me welcome you, Reverend, as I pray for you. Shall we pray? Father, we are thankful that your word is in season and that, Lord, your word always comes to comfort. Na Jehovah naomba kwamba neno lako liweze likatuliwaza, neno lako liweze likatupa faraja, kwa sababu wewe ni mungu ambayo umetusikia, umewana machozi yetu Jehovah. Na kwa hiyo umekuja ili uturehemu, ili utu, usimame nasi. Naombea, uh, Reverend Akileta, neno lako kwamba utamtumia kama chombo. That Lord, you will use him, give him the tongue of the learned, and cause him to share the oracles that you have set for us today. We bless you and we honor you for it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome, Reverend. Reverend Joyce, Your Excellency, Weshimua wote amba wako hapa, watu ambao tumekuja kuomboleza sio rahisi kuhubiri wakati kama huu najua ya kwamba mioyo yetu imehusunika sana kupoteza maisha sio kama kupoteza kitu kingine unaweza poteza mali itarudi si ni kweli unaweza poteza hali itarudi 
lakini kupoteza hii maisha bado tuko nayo sio kitu rais tukichumuika leo na tukiita Mungu atusaidie sisi kama watu wa kericho tumepigika sana mahali ya chali imetokea ni mashariki ya kericho it is the gate the east gate na ni mahali pia tunapoingia kericho hii tunachifunia hapo ndipo tumepigwa lakini tumekuja kwa sababu tunaye Mungu Amen. na tunaye Mungu ambaye ni Mungu Amen. na hawezi kutuachilia atatushikilia atatunehemesha na atatuwezesha tunataka kuambia familia ambao tunasimama na wao hata kama tumekuja kuna mahali hatutafika tunaweza kusema poleni lakini kuna mahali hatutafika kuna nafasi ambayo itabaki ambayo ni ya Mungu peke yake. Na hiyo tutamwachia mfariji ambaye atawafariji. Wapendwa wenu ambao wameondoka. Msipotese matumaini. Kwa sababu hata kama kifo imekuja sio mwisho. Unajua kifo utisha. Na kifo ni achali ambayo ilitokea pale katika shamba la Edeni. Mungu hakukusudia tukufe angetaka tuishi ingawa tungekuwa wengi zaidi. So kulikuwa na plan B hata kama Adam na Hawa walifungua mlango ya kukufa. Mungu alikuwa na plan B ya kusema kifo sio mwisho. Katika kitabu cha Waibrania war, war, na mstari wa 14. Biblia inasema Yesu mwenyewe alitoka binguni akawa na mwili kama yetu 